But Jesus is saying you have to leave when you have someone to cleave. But the second flip the side of that is when you have someone to cleave, means you have someone to get married to, you have to make a decision of walking out of your parents' house. This doesn't only mean you have to get your own apartment, condo, or your own house, but it also means you need to disconnect and give your parents the freedom of not running your new marriage. And you will always have sometimes the in-laws where some people who are so chill about it, they're like, hey, you guys, God bless you and everything. But then there will be always those in-laws. And sometimes you meet them all the time with couples who are getting married who stick their nose into the smallest things of the marriage. Like, what did you guys eat this morning? Like, describe to me. Were those eggs organic or not? I don't know. Was that juice? Was it full juice or did it have sugar added to it? And they begin to go into your details. When do you guys have intimate time? When do you guys do this? And you're like, okay, I didn't know you were God. They're like, I love you, mom and dad. Advice is welcome. Cash is preferred. <laughs> that is always my response to all the in-law problems. And so we have to always welcome the, the opinion and the advice of our parents. But if a marriage is to be healthy, the in-laws have to have a distance. Jesus says marriage is going to be successful if a man cleaves to his wife. So first he has to leave, means he has to give a, a little space between him and his parents. Him and her parents and cleave. Cleaving means pursuing, not stalking, pursuing. Pursuing means you show interest and you show affection and you show love. When a man is dating a woman, cleaving comes like the 10th fruit of the spirit. Just like this. It comes so naturally. Man automatically is very romantic. When dating, man becomes extremely expressive with his words. He can describe woman's appearance in all of the words in Webster's Dictionary. When he gets married, he cannot think of anything except, you look good. <laughs> when a man is dating, he pursues a woman. In a sense, money is important, but somehow he has enough time to buy the expensive roses has enough money to go to a nice restaurant, has enough money to buy those touch cards, those, um, what do you call those touch cards that you fill them up? Cards, cards, yeah. They're so expensive. <laughs> he has enough money to buy all of these things. And the woman, of course, responds back saying, this is so romantic. And not only that, he wakes up early and plans all the 25 text messages in a row every single day without a fail. He's so creative. Everything just juices is flowing. So the woman's like, this is so amazing. We're going to have a fabulous time. And when a marriage kicks in, somehow a person gets lazy and he stops pursuing. And he is surprised when he has no reaction back. And usually people could come to this conclusion. We fell out of love. We're not compatible. We grew apart. We are so opposite. Well, did you not know what you were marrying? You know what happened? stop pursuing and you know what we stop pursuing we don't feel it because in dating it takes over you in marriage you take it and run with it in dating feelings drive you in marriage you drive the feelings when I wake up in the morning and it's cold in the house I don't magically hope for fire to appear from heaven I go outside, get the wood, bring the wood inside of the fireplace, put them, position them correctly and begin to blow and start the magic of starting the fire. And the moment I started the fire, it's still cold. But after some time, it gets a little bit warmer, warmer, warmer. And after a few hours, it gets so hot that we have to open the doors. That's how marriage works. And Jesus is saying, for in marriage to be love and affection, it's not a magic. The only place where success comes before work is in dictionary. Everyone else first work and then success. And Jesus is saying to us, marriage won't work if people refuse to. Marriage will only work if you realize we don't have love, we have to work at it. Not getting a new partner, not getting divorced, not well we need to separate. No, we need to pursue. We need to seek also to benefit another person. In Revelation, Jesus said to people who fell out of first love, he says repent and do the first works and then everything will be fine we can come to the conclusion people don't fall out of love they only fall out of repentance they get lazy most of the relationships where love dies out it doesn't die out people stop putting wood into the fire and there is no more fire pursue another person 
and relationship will be great.